It's almost 70 years since Jimmy Taylor last flew in a Spitfire. After the war, he never expected to get the chance to fly one again, until today. Oh, it's fantastic. It's something, a dream come true in a way, because the Spitfire is still an iconic aircraft. And to get inside it, even when it doesn't fly, is uh, always special. It has a special smell about it, and you're feeling back at home. And to actually fly in one is uh, just out of this world. In 1944, Jimmy spent three months flying Spitfires for the RAF's photographic reconnaissance unit until an engine failure caused him to bail out, he was captured and imprisoned. The Boltby Flight Academy at Chichester has one of only half a dozen two-seater Spitfires in the world. This afternoon there, Jimmy took part in a pre-flight briefing, as he would have done seven decades ago, but then came an unexpected admission. I'm a little bit frightened, oh, well. but um, you can talk to me down the can. You, can, you can guide me. Then, Jimmy in the rear seat and RAF pilot Willie Hackett in the front, it was time for takeoff from Goodwood, a wartime Spitfire airfield. They spent half an hour in the air, Jimmy even taking the controls for a while. Before they landed, a chance for a fly past and even a roll. But all too soon it was over, and Jimmy was back at the hangar. I'm still here. <laughs> Tell us how it was. Super. Not supersonic, but super. <laughs> Before you went up, you said you were frightened to take the controls this time. Well, have... I was. I was very delicate on them. You asked the pilot. <laughs> I, I treated that aircraft with respect. In return, it treated me with respect. It's mutual. So, how were Jimmy's Spitfire flying skills after all this time? Jimmy did a fantastic flight. He did some of the flying as well. We joined up with his son in another aeroplane in formation to begin with, flying over Goodwood over there, looking down on the cathedral in the city, down over the south coast, Selsey Bill, places like that. And uh, yeah, it was a very special flight for me and Jimmy. What was there was just a chance for Jimmy's son to take some photos for the family album, a special day when an historic aircraft was flown by a World War II pilot once more. Sean Killick, BBC South Today, Goodwood.